Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. So really quickly, before we get going into the Tarte makeup, I do want to pause and have a conversation with you guys. Um, I, I'm very excited to get into that. Don't get me wrong. But right now, you can probably tell even just by my my being that I'm a little bit off. And so I want to put this just up front just so you guys know. Um, and hopefully, you know, then we can kind of move into the video and I'll be a little bit more clear headed. But I want to talk to you guys really briefly about what's been going on in my life and kind of behind the scenes um, and why there was no video Friday, all of that. So Friday or Thursday night, um, we got the call that a member of our family had passed away. She was basically like my adopted grandmother. She's been in my life for, I mean, my entire life. She's been in our our family and uh, she's just an amazing woman very strong-willed so sweet so kind but also very strong like she was that person that you just always thought she honestly I figured she'd outlive me like she's just she was that person that she just went on and on and she never stopped and she never she never allowed herself to be halted for even a moment by someone else or by a doctor a diagnosis whatever she was the person in my life that always instilled in me and continued to remind me that Paige, your life doesn't end at diagnosis. That's not what sets the boundaries for your life. If anything, that's what blows the doors off. That's what tells you that you go and you live and you do. And she encouraged me to take trips and to live and to find people and to find my people. And she's who she's the one that encouraged me to love. And she's the one that has continued over and over and over again to, to be open with the world and to let the world you know, it, it be in me and not be afraid to, to go find it and go seek and go explore. And she just, she was absolutely fearless. Obviously without getting into too much detail because she is entitled to her privacy and you know, even even now I would still wanna respect that. Um, she had, if for as many medical issues and like problems as I have, she has, you know, triple that. Like she, she was a, a woman who, experienced so much pain and sorrow and hurt not not in like just a relational way but also in like a, a physical way you know she she was well aware of of what it felt like to get bad news to say the least and um a woman that I learned a lot from and now going forward I I plan to honor her in every way that I can think of all the ways that I know she wanted and I am uh facilitating her um her funeral and the luncheon and the eulogy and all of that I explain all of this just so you guys know if I'm not around in the coming weeks as much, if I miss uploads, what have you, that's why. But anyways, like I said, I don't want this to be something that, you know, goes on and on. I want to, I want to leave the outside world out there, the things I can't control, whatever's going on, I'm going to leave it there. And I want to sit right here with you guys and enjoy this moment, enjoy the new makeup, enjoy just talking and just existing. The first thing I want to mention, and I don't know if I did already or not, so you'll have to forgive me. I just, my brain is just whoop, its way. But, um, the first thing I want to mention is that I have had this in my possession, like this order from their website for probably like at least a month. Like I ordered it probably a month ago. So I've maybe had it about three weeks or so. And, um, I, I just want to put that out there because I know a lot of other people have talked about these products and, you know, given their, you know, given their thoughts and opinions, some of it's been out for a while, but I still wanted to play around with it. Give you guys my two cents because a lot of this is stuff that I am very into. Like these are just the type of product that I'm very curious about and I thought you know what why don't we wait around and test it out all as a group and make it into its own video so really quickly I just went ahead and applied a little bit of my Tatcha silk canvas just to give me a nice smoothed over effect and then obviously I pinned my hair back so the first thing we're gonna start getting into is concealer and guys I'm gonna stop you right here because I need to talk about something that I just think <laughs> is the cutest uh, like I mean uh, I, probably like unequivocally one of the cutest things I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, Tarte came out with minis for all of their products and look at this little mini concealer. Mm, look at it. <laughs> Look at how cute this is. Oh my God, I can't stand it. <laughs> I just think this is the most adorable concealer in the entire world. Um, this is in the shade 8S. I picked it up in a mini because this shade looked a little bit light, but then I also grabbed a full size in 12N so that way I could maybe balance the two. Uh, but I just I just thought this was super cute. So anyways, we have concealer here. Then I also picked up um, along with that on the complexion side, I have a mini of their new um, Maracuja Tinted Hydrator and this is in the shade 13N Fair Light Neutral. 
and again just a cute little fella there and then also while we're in the minis family just so you guys know I also grabbed their cream bronzer in a mini and their maracuja miracle mist in a mini and then I think everything else I grabbed in a full size we have the sketch and set brow pencil their surf and surfer curl volumizing mascara and their shape tape glow wand which if I remember correctly this one the uh, the shape tape glow wand this was available in a mini but it wasn't in the color that I needed because I needed the lightest shade so I went ahead and I just bought a full size of this and for the mascara this one was also available in a mini but I don't often buy mascara minis right off the bat because I found a huge difference between mini and regular size mascaras and I feel like you know if I'm going to test it I want to test the full size to make sure that I like it so I grabbed that in a full size and then I also went ahead and I picked up this sponge this is their hydro sealer blending sponge um, and it was just available in a kit along with the concealer so I got the concealer in this together but you guys know me I love testing sponges I love just any anything in this realm like in the application realm I love to test out so I went ahead and I picked this up and the profile of it I can already tell you I'm absolutely obsessed with I love that it has a whole flat edge here because that is literally like the perfect profile can you guys see like how absolutely wonderful that is for getting up in there like I'm just oh I'm so excited okay so to get started, we are gonna drift in first with the concealer. I'm gonna do this one and then do the tinted face cream because I really wanna see um, what the coverage and all of that is like with this. So as I said before, this is their Hydro Sealer and I have it in the shade 12 and Fair. And the packaging and the component itself I actually think is really cute. I like that it's so thin. It's almost like an almond shape. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and start off by just applying some of this um, under the eyes and blending it out. I'm thinking, you know, a little bit more Scott Barnes method for today. Okay, so I think we're going to start off right about there with product. And I'm just going to start off. I did dampen this uh, sponge, by the way. I'm just going to go ahead and get it all blended out. I feel like just not too long ago, I heard somebody talking about this concealer and I could be way wrong because <laughs> honestly, all of my days and weeks are starting to blend together at this point. But I feel like was it maybe Kathleen Light? Somebody just said that they actually liked this concealer. They liked the blend. They thought the, the coverage was nice. Maybe, may, am I making that up? I don't know. You guys can tell me down below. Um, Cause that's like the hard part. You know, I, I had planned on filming this video before a lot of other people had talked about it. And now at this point, it's like, it's so many weeks later and I still have no idea what anybody has said because I just can't remember. <laughs> big surprise. I don't know if it's just my big old under eye bags or not, like the, the little blue area right there. But I'm, I'm getting more of a, like a, I would say a medium, more of a light, medium, medium coverage from this. And uh, I like the consistency. It does look really good on the under eyes. It gives like a really nice fresh look, which is fine. Um, but I'm noticing that the concealer and the coverage itself doesn't really want to build. So something to keep in mind if that's kind of what you're looking for. If you're looking for that, you know, more buildable concealer. I don't know that this is, is that guy. At least not for me. Maybe it is, like I said, you know, other people, if your under eye bags don't look like they're about ready to swallow your face. I mean, it could work great for you, but for right now, <laughs> my under eye bag, look at these things. They're about ready to take over Tokyo. You see this? I don't want to judge this just based on the under eye situation that I have going on. So I'm going to take a little bit of it. Just, I kind of schmooied it all over and I want to do a little bit of spot concealing with it. You know what guys? Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to stick with the medium coverage theory because I just took a little bit of it like over my acne areas right here. And I was trying to build up coverage just so I could see, you know, medium, is it buildable? Maybe it's more buildable over acne, that sort of thing. And um, I, what I keep noticing whether it's my under eyes or the acne on my face is that it is giving me a little coverage but it's definitely not like the kind that's buildable the kind that's going to completely cancel now really quickly I am going to split off and start applying some of the maracuja tinted hydrator just so we can see what that coverage is like as well and kind of how they work together so I'm just going to take some of it and again, this is in the shade, I think it's in 13N. And for me, this isn't so much about the coverage that it gives or about, you know, anything really in like the perfection aspect of it, but it's more so about, you know, seeing what this can do. Does it, does it simplify the process? Does it make my skin look healthy? Does it give it a glow? Does it give it that like summer look? So like I said, from a coverage standpoint, does it really give me like any sort of coverage? Not really. Um, it, it gives you what I would say is like the, the very light, very 
very stereotypical, you know, tinted moisturizer coverage. But what I am noticing, there's two, like a, a pro and a con. I think that the skin itself does look very nice. It has a beautiful light lilt of hydration to it, which is beautiful. But then on the more like textured areas, like right through here where I have raised acne and that sort of stuff, I'm not loving how it looks in those regions just yet. Even my pores, like right on the apples of my cheeks, it does look just a little bit more emphasized than I would like. Now that could calm down with a little bit of powder. I'm not really sure. Obviously we're not to that point yet, but just something to note, you know, those are the things I look for in a tinted type product. But from here really quickly, I do want to play around with the shade 8S of the concealer I picked up. Um, just because, well, first of all, it's so a freaking adorable. Look at how cute you are. Hello. Um, but I also want to play around with the shade and see if I can just brighten up those areas of my face a little bit where I would normally do it. So just in sitting here and playing around with that lighter shade of concealer, I'm inclined to say that these are not medium coverage. These are definitely more on the light side of coverage. I say that just because the coverage itself seems to be kind of disappearing, almost like the hydrating aspect of the concealer is soaking into my skin and it's hydrating the skin, which is good, but I am losing a little bit of coverage with that, um, with that hydration factor. So just something to keep in mind. I definitely think it's a lighter coverage concealer, but it is giving me a very, very nice fresh look under the eye. So I really like that. There's definitely a pro and con to it. All right. So real question, like, does anybody else's phone randomly shut off? <laughs> like I, I was sitting here cause I wanted to start looking up the prices and the shade ranges and like all of that for this stuff. And I went to pull it up on my phone and my phone was just shut off. Like it shut itself off. <laughs> like why? <laughs> why would you do this to me? Sabotage, sabotage. But anyways, while we wait for uh, that to load and do its thing, let's go ahead and start talking about cream bronzer. Cause I picked up this cute little mini. I just think this packaging is so cute. Um, this is their breezy cream bronzer in the shade Seychelles. And uh, yeah, the color actually doesn't look too bad. Let's go ahead and do a swatch. Oh, it's creamy. Oh, it's super creamy. Oh, it's, oh wow, okay. Why did I not expect that to have nearly as much pigment as it does? Holy cow, I kind of thought it would be like a, like a more sheer buildable type bronzer. That actually has a fair amount of um, pigment to it, okay. I'm just gonna take a little bit on the back of the uh, sponge here. And I am gonna work with this a fair amount cause holy bejesus. Okay, yeah, this actually has way more color than I thought it would. Um, so I'm gonna take and, and probably blend this out for a hot second. But oh wow, first, like literally just the first couple of pats in, that looks really beautiful. Like the consistency of it is very, very nice. All right, so really quickly, I just had to take a super quick phone call because you know, that's just the way things are at the moment. So I apologize. But while I was um, on the phone, I did finish blending out that bronzer. And guys, I'm really, really impressed. Like the, the way that it blends out and the consistency of this are absolutely beautiful. And I think it's just because like it, it's working both ways. It has a very um, like intense pigmentation or more of a robust pigmentation when you first apply it but then as you buff it into your skin it turns into a perfectly light pigmented like skin finish for a cream bronzer and it just it looks absolutely beautiful like it, it looks more natural than I thought it would and I'm so impressed now really quickly just for some blush I'm gonna grab this one from Honest Beauty this is their cream blush in peony pink and uh, I just talked about this in my month end favorites which I can link up here um, I really like it the consistency is great the color is wonderful all right so blush is done and you know what even though it's not the main event okay it has nothing to do with today's video, look at this color. <laughs> like, how do you not? Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this little guy. Again, this is the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand in the shade Sunbeam. All right, so here is just a little swatch of it. Again, the shade is Sunbeam. And that is actually a beautiful, beautiful lilt. So the way that I'm kind of gathering this works is uh, you have this end right here. This is the paddle applicator. So we're going to use this end to apply a little bit of the product. And then on the other end, they give you this little sponge. Now it does fit in this little, like the end part of it. So I don't know if it's supposed to like stay in there and then I do this with it, or if you're supposed to remove it and do it like this. But if I'm being honest, either way, that's not something I would really reach for. I would probably stick with my sponge and like, you know, do a little bit of that because that's how I always apply a cream highlight. Anyways, let's go ahead and try it out. I'm just gonna throw on a little bit. So I'm just gonna take about yay much and I'm gonna grab my sponge 
and just kind of press it in here. So there's the one side on and complete. I did go in with just a freckle more and blend it out because I feel like my first couple of drops were just a little bit, you know, I was being a little bit too cautious, but like that is absolutely beautiful. You know, you gotta get the light going just right. But what a beautiful, natural highlight. Oh my gosh. And I'm actually kind of surprised by this one because not only did I, um, I think, expect it to be a little bit more impactful, but I also didn't expect it to have like such a nice skin-like texture to it. Like it's not just natural in terms of the sheen that it's giving, but it's also natural in terms of how it's sitting on the skin and settling into my texture. And like, truthfully, this is giving me probably the most beautiful, natural, skin-like highlight I've ever seen. All right, so hello, wonderful people. I know that we are a lot closer than we were literally one millisecond ago, but uh, we need to have a conversation real quick about what I just saw on my under eyes. Can you see, I think this side is worse, can you see my crazy ass <laughs> under eye situation? Oh my God, like I don't know if it's coming across on camera, but it is so crazy, both sides. <sighs> That is a problem. Like, this is not the goal on any day of the week, okay? To have all this crunchy, nasty situation going on? Mm, no, absolutely not. No, thank you. Um, oh my god. It's, <laughs> that's not the tea. But you know what, guys? While we're here, we're gonna make the best out of our crunchy under eyes and uh, look at the rest of the face. So what do you guys think of uh, everything, all things considered? The glow, the texture. I personally think everything is looking really nice and I love this sheen right here. Now, really quickly, I'm gonna take some of my Too Faced Born This Way powder. This is in the shade Cloud and I'm just going to lightly set the entire face because I am more like combo leaning oily so I, I do have to set it. So next up, we're getting into brow and on one side it has a pencil which this is the shade we're working with and then on the other side it has a um, a brow gel right here and obviously the pencil as a whole is in the shade medium brown now I'm just gonna be using this like normal and sketching out my brows it's not gonna be um, anything super precise today because that's just not really what I'm into I feel like this look requires more of a a relaxed brow, if you will. All right, you guys, I am back. The brows are finished. Um, I, I wanted to just give myself a few seconds off of camera to just like, you know, be in my own head. But uh, I wanted to stop back on and I don't want to forget to talk about this because overall, I think the consistency and the quality of this is actually really nice. Like the pencil, I like the duality of it. I like the creaminess of the pencil because it's not super hard and like overly stiff where it feels like you have to dig it into your brows, but it's also not so creamy that it just like goes every everywhere and you end up going through way too much product like it's kind of the perfect in between for you know that side of things and then on the other side with the gel I really like the consistency and the almost like the tack that it has like it has a, a hold factor to it that I really like as well it really um holds up and kind of lifts the brows into place kind of like kind of like a wonder bra you know it's just like pushing them up there but really quickly which one of you was going to tell me that I had the worst case of butthole lip that you've ever seen like do you see this <laughs> that's not that's not a good situation actually why don't we use this little guy this is uh their jelly glaze anytime lip mask in the shade grapefruit and um i found this one on their site when i was looking for just like new hydrating lip stuff all right so that is what the lip looks like on and just you know so you guys can kind of tell the difference this is what it looks like in the tube right here it does come out more of like um, um an intense coral orange kind of color but when you actually apply it and really work it all over the place the um the the color itself goes away a lot and you're left with a very very light light tint of color so what you're seeing on my lips is definitely um like mostly my natural lip color it's not so much um the color of the product itself and i just want to put that out there now that we have the whole lip situation crusted busted and handled i do want to move on to this setting spray right here so that way we can get everything hopefully pressed into the skin because right now it's looking a little little bit nasty. So uh, let's go ahead and try this little bad boy out. This is again the Tarte Maracuja Miracle Mist setting spray. First off, of course, we have to give it a little tester. Ooh, okay. okay. So it basically has no smell, which is good. I'm all on board for no fragrance. Let's go. Oh no, you guys. I look awful. 
Just for the record, like tracing back what's going on, I don't think it's the spray, even though I know this was the last thing that I used. I don't think that's the problem. I think that the problem happened when I set my face with a powder after using this uh, tinted cream right here. Because before I set my face, everything was fine. Um, everything looked good and smooth and, and, you know, there was no issues. Hell, I was even up close and I was like, oh wow, my skin looks great. But then after I set it, I've noticed like progressively it looking weird and I didn't think anything of it until right now. So what I'm thinking is that this is one of those products, and I've talked about this before, sometimes when you get into hydrating foundations and skin tints and all of that, you will run into products that they just do not set down well. They don't, they just don't manipulate the same as other products. And I think from what I can see, this is one of those items. You know what? That actually makes complete sense too, because even the concealer went in and did what it did, like with the creasiness and all that under the eyes. Um, so maybe it's the same issue with these, like maybe whatever they put in, in these two products to make them more hydrating. Maybe that is like the part that's not jiving with the powder. Don't get me wrong, it could just be a page, like my face kind of issue. Uh, but from what I can see in my experimentation thus far, these two products right here, they do not like powder. They just look absolutely disgusting on the face when mixed with powder. Wow. Um, so, you know, gonna take that, leave it there. You guys can do with that information what you will. Moving on from there, we only have one product left and that is this new mascara. This is the Surfer Curl Mascara. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead, throw on a few coats of this and I will check back in with you guys here in a few. And all right, beautiful people, with that, we have the full face done and complete. I'm actually gonna go ahead and throw it right into the up close so that way you guys can see how the mascara as well as everything else kind of came together. Um, in terms of the actual skin itself, obviously, you know, if you're looking at it up close, you can kind of see a little bit of what's going on as to why I don't like it. Just, you know, the skin itself doesn't look great. It doesn't look as bright, alive, rejuvenated, all the things that, you know, I like it to look like when I go in with a lighter coverage kind of product. So um, for me, this combo isn't something that I would reach for again, uh, mainly the concealer and the tinted moisturizer. But if I take those two products and put them aside. I actually think everything else went pretty well. You know, again, all things considered. Um, my favorite two products of the day were probably the cream bronzer and the glowy wand thing right here. I really liked both of them. They have just a fantastic consistency and I, I really look forward to using them. With that, you guys, we are officially done with the video. Please be sure to let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down below, whether it is about the products, if you tried them, you liked them, you didn't like them, if you were curious, the whole shebang. Let me know um, just anything down in the comments. I would love to hear from you. And of course, per usual, before you leave, I got my list of three things here. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram and on Twitter. I am more active over on Instagram, so if you'd like to see me in my day-to-day -day life, be sure to check out over there. Uh, again, they will both be listed down in the description box. And number three, if you have not done so yet, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I put up three new videos typically per week. They go up on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and it's normally right around 7 a.m. my time here in good old Northern Michigan. And you guys, that is it. Thank you also so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! This is their Tarte Sea Breezy Cream Bronzer in the shade Seychelles, and uh, this... Okay. <laughs> Whoops. Honestly, no. Now, really quickly, before literally absolutely not but you okay. this is their shade sunbeam okay